Hello. Guess who made a film? Hi, I'm sorry. Um, I haven't been active in the past week on any of my social media really because I have been in the Alps shooting my film. It's done now. Thank you so much for everyone supporting me. It's been the craziest and most amazing week of my life. It's just been insane to leave London, get to the Alps, film and then go back to normal life now. And it's just so weird. Um, but we finished it and I had the most amazing crew I could ever hope for. And everyone worked so freaking hard on the film, mastering it. And I could have never asked for a better crew or a better group of people to work with. I had the most amazing two producers who took charge of everything and tried to make sure that I didn't do anything stupid and calculated the budget and made sure that everyone was fed and tried to take the right decisions even when they weren't the easiest ones. I had the most amazing first AD who hated having to rush people and hated having to be serious on set because he's not a serious person but he did an amazing job and he managed to keep everyone on track and we finished everything on time just because of him even when he wasn't feeling very well um, I had the most amazing cinematographer who I had the pleasure to work with uh, I've never seen someone so committed to a project before he was absolutely incredible he, he took so much passion on the project as well that it was so nice to like share my view and his view and try and make them merge to get the product that we got in the end. I had the best camera department I could ever wish for because they were just absolutely great. They knew what they were doing and they mastered it and they never complained once about it being hard. I had the loveliest gaffer in the world who didn't have any spark. Basically the guy who does the lighting didn't have anyone who would help him out to set the light. He was rushing around by himself and he didn't complain, not even when we made him just like standing there with the reflector shading the guy who was pulling focus. <laughs> so thank you. I had the most lovely sound guy in the world, even though he had to deal with car noises, rain, thunder and literally batteries dying and all of those issues. He did an amazing job, he was super super nice. I had an incredibly talented production designer who did an incredible job in terms of continuity and like some of the props that we needed for the film and I can't say anything because of spoilers weren't exactly the easiest props to find and he managed to find 12 so I am pretty impressed I had the most lovely actors ever they committed so much to the film, they put so much effort into rehearsing, they asked so many questions, they practiced loads and they were constantly trying to improve the performance to give me suggestions in a way they would have portrayed a character or like the way that they would feel if they were in that situation and basically they made my characters become a reality and it was incredible to see they have been absolutely insane even though it was a really really hard work because obviously it's always complicated to make your vision match reality. To summarize what we did, we gathered all in my house and we left with like two bags each and all the kit from my house to get a night bus at 2am and reach Victoria where we waited for a coach that we didn't even think it was coming anymore and we got to the airport, we were absolutely falling asleep inside the airport I didn't sleep one hour that day, I literally went straight to the day after it felt like two days were just one really really long day we got to the airport where my mom, when she saw me, she ran to me and knocked me over and when we got to the cars they had the brilliant idea of put the posters of the film all over them and that was embarrassing. We got to the mountains where everyone was sleeping apart from me and my best friend again. I didn't sleep. Got there, we set everything down, we managed to find everyone a bed or a sofa or the floor. We went on the first location because we wanted to do the most complicated scene um, on the first day because obviously it's the one that required the most effort. We practiced it on the first day and the second day we went there to film it. It was the sunniest day ever on earth and none of us was used to that sun. We had sun cream, yes, but that didn't protect us enough so all of us have been peeling for the past week. That scene was absolutely incredible in terms of like performance. It was very complicated, very emotionally draining and very emotionally involving and just complicated. It was very very hard to portray and especially on the first day when none of the rest of the film had been done. In the next days we filmed some of my favorite scenes 
because the chemistry created between the actors at some point was so strong and so lovely and just absolutely perfect that literally made the scenes work absolutely incredibly. I was just so 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 happy. Everyone did, oh, everyone did so well! In terms of food, I was the one cooking and I was cooking for two vegans, two celiacs and so gluten free stuff and one vegetarian and all the rest of the people that were normal and a guy that was addicted to eggs. It was pretty intense and I totally forgot how much people eat when they're on set. Like, it's a constant snacking and not even with farming people would eat that much, I'm pretty sure. We had so much fun though. We went to Venice, we tried Prosecco, there were bottles exploding and oh, there was a radioactive river because we were next to a river so we climbed down the mountain, we climbed to the river and we stayed there in the water, reading books and just minding our own business and there was this lady from this bridge that was looking down on us and she kept looking at me and shaking her head. So at some point I went up to her and she told me that why didn't I just make them some base somewhere where they could just sit down instead of there that was dangerous. I was like, oh, they're British, they want to stay next to the water. And she didn't say anything else. Four days later, after four days of people going to the river, she's still there looking at me and shaking her head and I'm like, what's wrong? And basically what she told me is that all of the sewage from the whole of the mountain all came down and went into the river and also not to forget, a plane crossed close to that in the mountains and they were doing examinations to check the radioactivity of the water. And people drank that water, right? So yeah, it's been an experience, as I said, bottle of wine exploding, missing a train, burning toasts, because vintage toasters are not meant to be used in this day and age. <laughs> not by production designers anyway. We just lied on the grass looking at the star, drinking beer, drinking wine. We got some ice cream, we got proper pizza and everyone was absolutely amazed by it and I was so proud. <laughs> And it's just so weird now to wake up in the morning and not having 13 people around my house, people sleeping on the sofa, people eating on the table, people lying on the grass, fighting with lightsabers, uh, throwing water at each other, uh, just screaming, shouting, drinking, eating, joking. <laughs> So it's been such an incredible experience, it's been one of the best time of my life and I made a film, I actually directed a film with the best people in the world and I am just so happy whenever I think of it, it's been just the best experience I could ask for. I just owe it all to them. I just can't wait for you guys to see the film, now it's on to post-production and it's probably gonna take around 3-4 months, roughly, I have no clue and then I will finally be able to show it to you. In the meantime, keep your eyes peeled for trailers, for stills and for new information about the film because I made a film and... It's been, it's been absolutely amazing and it wouldn't have been able to happen without your support. So thanks a lot for that. Again, I'll see you if you're coming. Come to the meetup in Florence if you want to. I'll be very happy to see you. So yeah, now on to the next adventure and wonder which one it will be. I'll see you soon guys. It's been a pleasure to come back to my channel and talk to you about my film, finally. I'll leave you with a couple of clips from the BTS and I will see you in the next video, hopefully. And yeah, booyah! Man. You shall not pass! <laughs> oh, bollocks! <laughs> Uh, 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 u